Subscribe to Racing UK on YouTube for more Group 1 races. And the starters let them go. They're off for the Betfred TV Silly Isles Novices Chase. They'll have 17 fences to jump and Bristol to my ambles on into the lead towards the first of the railways with on the right T for two and Ardeme nose banded on the left and Ubak is going to jump this last of the four as they get over the first and Bristol to my leading under Daryl Jacob measuring up the second and uh, jumps it nicely to Ardeme on the inside under Sam Twiston Davies Lizzie Kelly on T for two and getting over the final railway fence, Ubak in last under Joshua Moore. So Bristol Demai in front. The lead would be around three lengths for this grade one winning hurdler as a juvenile coming here off the back of that win with real authority at uh, Haydock two weeks ago. To Ardeme in second, winner of the EBF final over hurdles here last season. And then the Corto Star winner in third position, T for two. Kempton on Boxing Day and Ubak, a winner at Aintree's Grand National Meeting a few years ago. A high quality quartet run towards the pond fence, number four, with Bristol Demai leading the way. Jumped it big and well to Ardeme, equally fluent in second. Likewise, T for two in third place. And Ubak, last of the four as they turn in, number five and six. Six will be an open ditch. Here's Pricked. Bristol to Mai, it's put in an extra stride going over that, but again, never touched it to in second position, T for two, and then Ardeme in third and Ubak last of the four as they come towards the open ditch. Heading into it, Bristol to Mai. What a beautiful jump over that from three of them really with Ardeme on the inside of T for two. And lastly, Ubak as they head up the hill towards the line with a circuit to go in the Betfred TV, Silly Isles, Novices Chase race with some tremendous horses on the roll of honor perhaps best mate the one that stands out the most back in 2001 with Bristol to my leading T for two and Ardeme they're side by side sharing second with Ubak just another three lengths back last of the four as they're about to turn right-handed and head on towards fence number seven of the 17 with uh, Bristol to my Daryl Jacob looking for better luck this time having not had the best of times two previous mounts in these colours this afternoon. Leading T for two. Pace just quickening a bit with Ardeme on the inside and Ubak four lengths behind as they come on towards the seventh. Bristol to Mai. Over to T for two. Ubak made a bit of a mistake there. Last of the four. Ardeme sticking to the inside. So seven fences coming up in the back straight. Two plain, then an open ditch, the water and the three railway fences with uh, Bristol to Mai. The lead is around about two and a half to three lengths, coming towards the first one in the back. And lands ahead of T for two. In second from Ardeme in third, another half length behind. Four then to Ubak as Bristol to Mai leads over that to T for two. Lizzie Kelly looking for a second grade one, just moves closer to Bristol to Mai now as they come over the ditch. With Ardeme in third, who's right on their tail, Ubak just finding it a little bit too hot at the moment, has probably dropped five lengths behind the other three now, and just being shaken along by Joshua Moore as they come to the next one. Fence number 11, Bristol to Mai, to T for two on the outside, with Ardeme on the inner, and Ubak trying to cling on four lengths further behind as they come to what was their first it's now number 12 the first of the railways Bristol to mine T for two to Ardeme on the inside just shaken for the, the first time on landing with Ubak last of the four Bristol to Mai with T for two within a half length on the outside stamina very much his strong suit as Bristol to Mai just from T for two Ardeme and again brushing through it Ubak Bristol to Mai then leading by a length it's all about to unfold with T for two traveling comfortably as comfortably as the leader is in second and Ardeme not done with in third place Ubak remains four or five lengths further behind and driven so Bristol to Mai the grey in front of T for two and Ardeme as they run down towards the pond fence three fences left to take in the bet Fred TV, Silly Isles of 2016. Bristol to Mai and T for two. The big clash with Ardeme just following. Ubak remains in four, three out then. Bristol to Mai over. A bit more fluent than T for two is pushed along. Ardeme is still close enough on the
the inside in the noseband, but Bristol Demai just in control then. Coming towards the second last to Ardame and T for two. Both jockeys at work. Bristol Demai flew the second last to Ardame in second. T for two in third place is under pressure and needs to find because Bristol Demai has the lead by two and a half to three. At the final fence, Bristol Demai over. Three or four lengths clear of Ardame. T for two can't quicken in third. And Bristol Demai is extending and drawing away up the hill and is going to win so stylishly. A grade one winning hurdler, now a grade one winning chaser. Bristol Demai takes the silly aisles for Daryl Jacob and Nigel Tristan Davies. Ardame second, T for two, only third, and Ubak completed last of the four. First, number five, Bristol Demai. Second, number one. Third, number three, and the fourth placed horse, number four. The full result to our fourth and the feature race of the day, the Grade 1 Betfred TV Silly Isles. And obviously Subscribe to Racing UK on YouTube for more Group 1 races.